Okay, Thursday morning in the kingdom. Yes, and I'm hurting. I'm an old guy, and I was climbing up and down the cat, the loader, and of course, store the plow truck. It was like the monkey bars when I was growing up in school, and that's when it was fun times. Yes. So this morning we woke up to minus three Celsius, but feels like minus three. See, I got my Grinch gloves on. All right, but on the yo-yo scale, plus 27. But feels like plus 27. Those are the twin numbers. Also, too, Johnny emailed. He's got a surprise for us. Yes, the long weekend. No beer on Wednesday means beer on Friday or Saturday. Because that's the way the trucking industry works. But Johnny emailed and says there's beer today on a Thursday. Yeah, that's rare like the blue moon. Yeah. So that's going to catch everybody off guard because they'll think there's no fresh beer at the store and the staff will arrive and buy a fresh case of beer. Yeah, and then everybody will try to figure out where the beer came from, eh? All right, so that's a first, a beer on Thursday at the end of the world. All right, so we got them lined up there. We're waiting for a cloudy overcast day because there's too much shadows. Yesterday we worked hard and the shadows and the film footage the staff was able to get some good stuff And then she her phone died her me phone died because she recorded too much, but it was a long day We figured two days to clean up that mess But the staff operating the hole like an expert fluffed everything up loaded my bucket good and then off we went It worked out good. So let's scroll this way All right Look at that, no fog. You can see the neighbors, that sun is bright. The squirrels are chirping. Oh, who cares? Yes, there's Thor. He looks so funny without the blade on. Thor the dump truck, not the plow truck. Yes, and then over here, we're gonna have the screaming Ford out today and the green toy, because we gotta move the boat and move that trailer to make more room for the cat trains to go by. Yes, we're basing everything on Good photos to document the cat trains because once I'm dead and gone, who's going to tell the story? Nobody. The staff can. All right. So we'll go this way a bit more. Look at that. Oh, and the loader is outside because the bucket is on. So the dog bed doesn't fit in the bucket, whatever. So it doesn't work out. So the dogs are more important than the loader. So the loader had to stay outside. But we planned on that because we thought we'd have two days of bucketing the debris. But now we can put the forks back on and tonight the loader can go back in the shed to be toasty warm. All right. Look at that. And we're going to work on the Aggie the cat. He kind of broke the blade yesterday getting that big rock out. Like we should have had the D6 out. Not the tiny D6. But who the hell thought there would be that big rock? But it actually worked out good after we broke the blade. Then the blade followed the contour of the rock. So it actually worked out better. So now I just have to do a little welding. Okay. All right. We made one, one rotation, not revolution. And we're back where we started. Yes. All right. I better go. Here comes the boss because we got a busy day today. Thursday morning in Whoville, as you can see the sun is shining, there's some fog off into the distance and some clouds, maybe it'll rain or snow today, not sure, I think I'm getting a cold, you can hear it in my voice, so that's not good, I can't afford to be sick, now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out and make breakfast. Just got back from getting diesel up in Whoville for these two jerry cans, it was $100.18, I'm pretty sure we got like 53 liters or something like that at $1.89, things are getting expensive, now let's go shopping. Just finished shopping as you can see and for one bag and four waters it was $105. Things are getting a lot more expensive these days but I did get some tomatoes that were on sale. We got bacon and milk of course. There's even ice cream in there. Now let's head on over to the kingdom. Made it back from the kingdom. Now it's time to let the dogs out. Not all the videos we did yesterday ended up in that video. My tomatoes and the roadrunner ones will end up in today's video so that way we have extra minutes. It is going to be a very easy day since I am getting sick and I do not feel very well. Now let's head inside and finish up. Once I was done filling out all my paperwork, I decided to check on the garden. Look at my tomato! Am I seeing stuff or is that changing color? Wow, I was not expecting that. It sure is getting pretty big. We got the size of my thumb here and it's a decent size, so we'll keep an eye on it and see if it grows. 
Look at my radishes. I just planted these guys in my white garden bin on the 6th of October, and now look at them. They are already popping out, and so far they are doing very well. Okay, I finally got the name painted on the boat. Uh, Rustolium 2004 is when we acquired this boat. All right, but the thing is, is we're using up this paint, which we've had for two summers now. All right, so it's kind of hard to paint details when the brush is permanently curved, but oh well, we're getting it done and we're having fun. Made it to the kingdom and now it's time to head into the bush and go check out the Roadrunner Rock on our little trail that's looking over the muskeg. Down on the north trail by the Esker, this is where the trail turns really sharp and I got stuck with the skidoo a few times, but that's okay. My dad sent me on a wild goose hunt to go look for this roadrunner rock. If you can see in here, we got a ribbon trail, so let's follow it. Looks like I found the Roadrunner rock, as you can see here, it's on the ledge, wouldn't take very much to just kick it down and then it would roll onto the road there and squish the poor Roadrunner. And if you look over here, you can also see the swamp, muskeg in the corner there, and then you have our trail right here and the highways just beside us. As you can see, this Roadrunner rock from Wiley the Coyote isn't really held up by very much. Look at that. It's just kind of held up there by one single rock. If we were to move that rock, I'm sure this guy would go rolling down the hill and onto our little cat train trails, which is just right here. Now it's time to head back into the kingdom and see what's going on today. Made it back up to the kingdom, all I really did was go around a big circle. I went in the trail over here and all the way down, then I came up behind the house and back over here. Now let's head down to the shop and see what he's doing today. I'm pretty sure I seen Thor was out. Now we are down in the front yard getting ready to move this trailer right here. We're going to move it back that way we can get this boat hooked up and we're going to be putting the boat over in this corner where we cleaned yesterday. That way we have a lot of room and it will look good in the background for pictures and videos this winter.
since this concrete pad didn't break yesterday when we dumped it out of Thor, we we're going to pick it up and drag it back up towards the house. So if we ever need it again, at least we'll have it and it won't be buried in a bunch of snow. This is where the concrete slab is going to sit now until we need it. It's technically out of the way, so if we have to do snow or other things, it's not in our way. And if we have to, we can always move it again for the millionth time. Now we're going to back the green toy up to the big boat here, and then we can strap down the axle on the back. That way when we move the boat, it doesn't fall off because that won't be good.
That is one big boat. It's like twice the size of the green toy. Can you even see into the back of it from here? Look at that. That didn't take very long and we were able to get the boat moved. It looks a lot better here than where it did before. We had it right here actually, but look at all that space we cleared up. Now my dad can pull ahead with the screaming forward and the trailer that's on the back of there and we'll be putting it right in this area so we'll have more room for the cat trains this winter.
coffee time and we're done in the kingdom as you can see off into the distance there there's a bunch of whiskey jacks playing in the dog pen even ash is sitting there like what are you guys doing in my pen now it's time to head on back into whoville and do some weather after coffee and i just got back from the kingdom this is the temperature we're sitting at today it's 11 degrees celsius which is 51 degrees fahrenheit the sun is pretty warm but that wind is cool the sand flies aren't too bad today but i still had to wear my bug net i'm going to be relaxing for the rest of the day since i am sick so let's head inside edit the videos and end my day okay five o'clock in the kingdom and i was in the back of the yard there cleaning up where we were dumping and everything and we got this going here this looks good only 30, 27 years to clean up this side of the bush and everything because it was just crap everywhere plus the uh rustoleum boat looks so good with the sun shining on it all right let's go check on the other side of the yard okay we took the debris from the west side of the yard and put it in front of these van trailers because we never had enough space here if we went to move the van trailers okay there's three of them in a row so how do you get a semi under them now that they're fully loaded so we shoved them in there how would you say empty so it worked out pretty good so i'm thinking of my demise or my death i wasn't too worried about uh, how the hell the trailers would get moved but now i feel a lot better we repurposed the dirt and debris and we smoothed it off in here so it all actually looks pretty good just some more trimming up to do and we also pushed the tune barge back and we made sure it's up on railroad ties so it doesn't get stuck to the ground like last time okay we're done for the day the dogs are ready for a walk because they see me getting ready and the sun is so bright i'll stand in the shadows here so we can see the flag of exercise with the u.s flag and the flag of alaska oh these lips need some beverage all right let's go walk the dogs drink some beer make a video and write a book all right we'll talk to you later